Is this in the dream here where it says so there's like a couple things going on or is that reflection afterwards? There's no more copies left. Because like you say, um, which I find hard to believe that it would work. Is that in the dream? So in the dream, you're reflecting. So there's a couple things going on here. One of them is interesting because it leads you to not forgetting, which I find hard to believe. But on the other hand... Why are you doing that? Uh, I'm just why, trying... Why are you doing that? I want to know... Why are you doing that? Because if it's... No, no. ...not in the dream... Wait, wait a minute. Why, why are you doing that? Because if it's not in the dream... Hey, you're not answering the question. Why am I doing that? I want to know if it's part of the dream. And if it's not, then I was just going to stop reading and then use that as a reflection back. I want to know if it's part of the dream. She answered it. Okay, got it. No, no, so like... Well, I, I just, it's confusing how it's part of the dream, so I'll just wait and see how it is now. Because I, it's confusing how it is. 
So, but you're right. She said yes. So now I'm just going to wait to see how. Okay. I actually don't think that is part of the dream. I think the dream ends when I'm, I say, I pop my head in to talk to those women. Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> Right, that's the end. Yeah. Shay, uh, what do you make of the dream? Well, you know, it seems like I'm involved in stuff that's pretty impossible to succeed at, or it's kind of bizarre stuff. Like I'm doing stuff for other people, yeah. concerned about other people's yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, even with what, what do you mm -hmm. think about that in the dream? So. Well, I think I'm starting to see that in the dream. Like I realize that it's getting worse. The more I try to help this guy. It's getting to be, uh, the harder I try to undo this, the worse it gets. This is my problem for having opened it. I should have just let him do it. What, what does that do to you? Now that you see that? Well, it makes me think about my life. Mm -hmm. Like it seems like that's what's going on with my life trying to help other people is not... Hold it now. What do you think of the kind of need that you are answering? In the dream? Yeah. It's stupid stuff. That's, that, that's quite true, but that didn't answer the question. It's stuff that other people can do for themselves. Oh. And should do for oh. themselves. Oh, how important is that? Yeah, that's important. And I'm seeing that, I mean, with my life, too. Uh, are there several examples of the same thing? In the dream you had there? Yeah. Hmm. Memory, that memory exercise. Yeah. What do you think of that? In terms of the dream. Well, again, the questions I ask about it are ridiculous. See. And the way I, I and the way I'm, de the way I'm, like I'm asking, how long can you remember it? Yeah. That's a ridiculous question, rather yeah. than go for the content. Which would be what? Which would be, what do you remember? Yeah. What do you conclude? That if it leads to your never forgetting something, like one word, then, and I don't believe it would work. Thank you. Say it again. That I don't believe it would work anyway. Did you offer that? You offer no. your understanding? No. Oh, 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 oh. No. So, 
What do you want to discover in the dream? What would be the important moment? Mm. Like when I ask, what is it you want to remember so badly that would prompt you to go through this exercise? I mean, that's a weird question because they would have to remember it in order to answer me. Yeah, yeah. And that's the whole purpose of them doing the exercise. So my question is kind of a non-question. That's true. And. Rather than saying that, I mean, why do I do that? Because yeah. it's just like filler. It's, it's yeah. meaningless. Yeah. Yeah. Take the first one. Same thing. The first. Take the first paragraph. What's the problem in the first paragraph? Well... What's the problem? Yeah, yeah. Um, like, do you know that she can do it herself? I have no idea. Uh, I'm in the dream. I mean, I think she might have trouble doing no. it. Stay in the dream. Here, could you speak a little louder? Yeah, sure, I sure, sure. sure. Um, normally, the way she gets hot water is at the kennel jar. But I think she is somewhat... Uh -huh. Oh, and there's some kind of a hose, and she can put the water in herself. Thank you. She can do it herself. Yeah. But I get all involved. Yeah. Like maybe she'll have trouble. Yeah. So I should step in. Yeah. 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 That's the moment. Yeah. See? It's got it in the dream. Yeah. It starts with, but I think. Mm -hmm. But I think. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What's that state of mind like? Well, actually, I, I did something this morning that was this kind of a thing. What, again, what state of mind is that? A state of mind is... See, I know she can do it herself, but I... But I think... What's that like? But I think maybe she's handicapped. Maybe. So I'll go check. What is that like? Um, see, you're going against what you see and know. She can do it herself. Right. But now you have a thought that overcomes that, don't you? Right. What is that mood and state of mind that comes in at that point? Because that repeats itself throughout. Right. And it happened this morning. Yeah. What is it? Well, I feel magnanimous. That's good. And I feel like I'm going beyond the call of duty. And yeah. I'm just... Hey, that's a great state of mind. Yeah. Yeah, even though it's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and even perhaps right? harmful. Yeah, it's and harmful. It's delaying their growth. It's yeah. Yeah. precluding my growth. It's But that's a great state of mind. It's just a bunch of Hey, it's um, a great state crap. of mind. Yeah, it's a great state of mind. Yeah. Yeah. You can't say no to no to that. No. No damn it. It's got it a was, it's yeah. got a command. It's got a command. It's got a command commanding power. Mm -hmm. Where does it come from? Um It's like my father when he would take us to a restaurant once in a while. And it would be like, oh 
Here we are at the truck stop. <laughs> and then, yeah. Earlier. Earlier. Oh, okay, let's see earlier. mother would present me. Yeah, that, how old are you? Like, um... Five? More like about six or seven. Okay. And, sh you know, when I started babysitting, doing that babysitting stuff. Six or seven. Yeah. And I, and sh I don't know, it was like how she would talk to the lady who I would babysit for, that she would Tell her in front of me that I was so, I don't know, such a good babysitter that I would just do stuff. I don't know. For her. That she could. Let's see. For free? For free? Well. Yeah, for free. I mean, that oh. kind of was unsaid. What do you make of that? That she's offering you your service oh. for... Well, I didn't need to be paid because I was just so oh. interested in helping people. And yeah, yeah, that you overlooked yourself. Yeah. How did she appear then when she was giving you that story or giving someone else that story? Well, oh. she appeared the same way. She appeared magnanimous and like... She was really coming out. Yeah, it's the only time she's son of a bitch came out. Yeah. Right? Otherwise she was pissed off and... Yeah, that's a high moment in her life in front of you. Right. When she's doing what, in fact? When she's giving me away. To? To... Is it helpful to you? No, it's tying me up. Yeah. Uh, under the service of the kids on babysit. Yeah. What do you think of that? Pretty fascinating. Yeah. Come on. What do, you, what do you call someone who does that to their daughter? Well, like, she's getting me committed. She's committing me. I always thought you'd commit people to mental hospitals. Well, but appearing so beautiful and caring and magnanimous. Yeah. <laughs> and you can count on her to never leave, and yeah. But how, what? That must be playing a hell of a role in your life. Wow. To get back into that same state, you're reliving that same state. Five years old, six, seven, aren't you? Yeah. At each moment, that's the only damn time she shows she cared. Is that right? Magnanimously, all that's great. Yeah, she did a similar thing actually when I was, come to think of it. Oh. When I was a teenager and my, after my father had died, my mother decided to get a job as a volunteer at the, at the nursing home gift shop. And I would drive her there and pick her up. And Again, my job would be to go there and then pick her up, and I'd stand there, and then she would do this thing again there. This is when I'm like 15. And she'd say, oh, Ju same thing. Julie loves to pick me up. She loves, you know, she takes me here and there. And, and I did. I felt honored to be my mother's, committed to my mother's needs now. Well, because she looks so magnificent. She, once again. How can you say no to bullshit? Exactly. Right? Well, it was the only time she, she was pleasant with me yeah. about anything. Therefore, 
They're yeah. obliged to, is that right? Yeah, it was like sipping sweet honey or syrup yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. And that's yeah. Yeah. What do you think you're gonna uh shoot? Oh god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Then she gets has a wonderful way to get you to do finish it. She has a wonderful way of getting me to give up my life and my loves for her, a relationship with her, so that she can play this creepy. Hey, hey, could she drive? She could. Oh, well, then you were needed. Uh oh, were you needed? No. Oh. 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 What does that mean? That it was all phony. Hmm? It was phony. Yeah. It was just yeah. All phony. yeah. 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 And again, it kept me from pursuing my own interests. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Apart from that, it's great. God. Dang. Then I did it with my brother. I picked him up, took him to work, and picked him up. Well, you've been doing your whole life. And my father, I did it with him. Yeah, because at, at his store. Yeah, fulfilling your destiny. <laughs> and they would all do the same thing. Yeah. Talk about me like. Like you're. Like I'm some kind of an object on display in the window, and they're just <laughs> telling the customer how much, you know, <coughs> I don't know, just like I'm an object or something. Yeah. 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 So um, the next time you get into that state of mind, what do you think you ought to do? Shoot, this magnanimous <laughs> state of mind? Yeah. Oh. Next time I'm in this state of mind, I hope I wake up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I'm in that state of mind, oh man. <laughs> you know it. I'm gonna wonder, what the heck am what? I doing? Yeah, because? They may, not even, they may not even need it. Right. They don't. They don't. They don't. <laughs> yeah. In fact, they better. it's better they don't. Mm. No, no, I'm not going there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Curious, isn't it? Well, they... Yeah. Service? Curious. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Good. Thank you. Good work. Boy. Went, went through a lot. Shoot. Yeah. I tied a few things together. Oh, yeah. Wow. Like? Like the beginning and the end. <laughs> 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 Dang, man, that's my whole life right yeah, there. That's all. Apart from that, it's nothing. Shoot. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <sighs> Beautiful. Thank you, Julie. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. We'll do it Julie, after the No, no, not me. Uh, I was gonna ask you, did, did, when you asked like, why am I doing that? Did you mean like, where was I going, like with the vision that I had? Because it it's turned out very similar, but I was looking at this part, not, what, not the what first example. Similar? What looks similar? What looks similar? The where you went. It, it looks similar to what? To where I was gonna go, but I was looking at a different example in a different paragraph. But it, but I, but you notice here, it looks like it, it changes here. This, what you guys just talked about, the um, the seeing and then discounting it with the but I think. It's also here too, but it also happens here too with respect to this paragraph. And so it looks like this wasn't in the dream. And so, and it looks like this is more clearer because she does the same thing as back here. She says, okay, well that's cool. If you can, right? The if you can, is just like the but I think because it takes away the seeing. 
but you were asking a question that you had an answer for. Oh, I don't know. See, uh, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe. No, no, no. Excuse me. From what you were just saying. You didn't have a question about it. You saw a similarity, is what you're saying. I just wanted to verify that if this Pardon. was in the dream or Pardon. not. When you're saying, I just wanted to verify right. that, that means you did see it. I had an idea. You're right. I had it I, because, because it doesn't seem like that can fit in the dream. It seems like that's reflection. Okay. Jim? You want to say Regina? Oh, I have a seat here, Regina. Oh. Okay. There you go. This one there. Uh, sorry, I didn't make, I, I made too many, too little, you know. Is there another one? Yeah, I have, I have to have one. Is this all the same? I'll forever? read it out loud. Or if you This is it or one. this isn't it? No, that's not oh, it. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Or, I don't know what Pierre wants. Read it out loud. Read oh, okay. Loud, yeah. um, Please <clears> don't read it yet. Oh, okay. So if anyone here would like to explore this dream, uh, why don't you do it? Right, take an opportunity to explore this dream, anyone? Okay. So, um, Eugene, uh, what do you make of the dream? Well, as a whole, I don't have an answer to that, but I was noticing a couple of parts mm -hmm. that uh, stood out to me, namely that uh, 
I stood up for myself in terms of my own care. I said I got to take care of myself. Um, and uh, there were certain things that seemed to be uh, good, not a problem in the dream as it appeared. Um, and I let uh, this guy Mason, uh, he was a Mason, uh, you know, have his own problem in, in some way. No. Uh, I had some other questions though, like I was puzzled about the key situation and this room, these rooms in the back. How is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like your answer. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, then yeah, let's yeah. do another one. Yeah. <laughs> we can have somebody else do their dream. No, What's no. the issue? No, no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> when you say <clears throat> that, um, i got to listen a little carefully. Yes. <laughs> um, what do you think of your answer? It's a good answer, you see. Now I have to ask you, what do you think of your answer? Uh, well, I think it's a good answer. No, what well, was otherwise it? I wouldn't have given it. Yeah, what was it again? I forgot. Well, I didn't see the whole of it. Um, I saw some particular parts uh, that I thought were good. You forgot your answer. I did? Yes. Mm. Okay. Well, that's interesting. What did I forget? Only the important part. Well, I think I uh, said that I um, stood up for myself and mm. uh, took care of myself, and I saw that there were what, certain... What, what did you say? I, oh. I took care of myself? I said that, uh, yes, I said I got to take care of myself. Oh, I got to say, oh, oh. That's what I was addressing. He wanted yeah. me to pick this washing machine up with him, and I uh, wasn't going to do that. Oh, what, what is it you wanted? You see, you wanted to do in the dream. Uh, I got to take care of myself. Oh, good. Uh, by the way, are you doing that in the dream? Oh. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, that's a good question. Hmm. That's why I don't understand the whole of it. Uh, uh, don't know. I seem to be interested in... Uh, I don't know the word same. Well, it, I'm into this house. I don't see I'm taking care of myself. No, no, no. And if this is taking care of myself, I don't see how it is. Uh, you don't... If... Is there an if there? Yeah. I... I no. I, I, There's no if there. Um, well, I don't know how doing what I'm doing is taking care of myself. Uh, uh, I don't believe that. Well, I'm... In terms of the dream, you, is there evidence? You, like, yeah, I'm not... I don't know how to take care of myself. Because what are you doing in the dream? Uh, See, let me ask you the I'm same. I'm not sure if I got, I don't, I don't oh, think look, I got here. it. Where do you find you're putting your attention, your concern, oh. your interest? Oh, uh, in this house. In this two bedrooms I discovered and finding a lot of interesting things about it. Uh, about yourself or about? The bedrooms. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Where are you putting your concern then? Into a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you have an interesting conclusion, don't you? Yeah, I should save my money and take trips. Oh, I, I forgot about that part. Uh, I was in this room and I pulled out and yeah, I thought I would return a little by. Oh, I had a question. Yeah, I did have a question. 
I thought I should be freer and maybe take trips instead. I uh, thought of a person who But could would that be doing the thing that you put your finger on so well and quickly? Uh, if yeah. You, would that be taking care of yourself to take a trip? Uh, well, I meant in the sense of taking a trip, putting my, uh, it would be like, I thought this is where I, um, not just vacation or taking, a, you know, just to go see something, but it would be like, part of it would be, you um, Behind it would be uh, taking trips like conferences and stuff, going to places where uh, I would have, I would put my money in. That's not interesting. Say it again. It would be a way in which you could see where you put what? Well, I'd put my money into taking trips rather than into houses. Uh, are those both ways of taking care of yourself? Um, oh no, not really. Uh, I don't know what the word not really means. Well, I'd be wasting my money is what oh. I'd say to myself. Oh, oh, oh. I wouldn't say that I was doing anything um, except taking a trip. <laughs> and that's the waste of time. It's just going somewhere. Yeah. And putting my money over there. Yeah. Interesting dream. So, like, how much, you're quite right by picking out the issue of the money. Isn't the money playing a major role in the dream, too? Yeah. Yeah. It's not a problem, but it's like I need to order how much I have, you know, not to be frivolous about it. And so use it, use it wisely for the house. <laughs> that you don't need. Oh, the house that I don't need. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 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 I'm just finding a lot of stuff for it, I guess. I'm yeah. Just, I don't know. It's as vague at the end. Put my mind into something else, but it's not, it doesn't have a direction. Yeah. The yeah. next dream is similar, too. It's like I'm into, dream, into doing things for others. And, and forgetting. Uh, myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you make of that? Well, I've been puzzled as to where I should be, what I should be doing. Oh, so. oh, oh, I didn't notice that. Didn't you put your finger on what you should be doing? Like, uh, do you want to convince me that you don't know how to take care of yourself? Uh, well, I think I am taking care of myself. Oh, is that what the dream is saying? Um, no, it um. sounds like I thought I should be freer and maybe take trips instead. I thought of a person who took a trip. But did you not say that that would be frivolous? Yeah. So what would you have to do to take care of yourself? Quit everything. Um, just quit. Just quit everything and just uh, stop. That, that's not pointing out how you're going to be taking care of yourself. Mm. 
Well, um... By the way, are you one of those people that have an interest in the soul? <laughs> yeah. Oh. But I'm not good at it. I am oh, not because good on your that road. energies are going. Yeah. 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 What's the dream telling you? Um. You have to take care of yourself. Huh? I don't. Um. I don't know. It's very hard for me to see through uh, all the uh, trees. No addition. And it isn't hard to see. Well, I had a question as to whether the work I'm doing at the college is part of the house as well. You know, like I'm puzzled about whether all that work is just another house <coughs> that I'm putting my time in. Thank you. I don't believe that you're puzzled about it. You may be puzzled that you're doing it, but I don't think you're puzzled about the issue itself. Well, actually, um... Some goals that I keep putting on the back burner. Yeah. How mm -hmm. important are they? Well, they're not practical. <laughs> That's right. You laughed at that. What does that mean? Um, what does that mean? They're not practical. See, yeah. all those things are practical. Yeah. Right? That's what you should be doing, these practical things. But you have several things important to yourself that you've kept on the shelf. Yeah, I have things that I've wanted to do. Um, Can't do them if you've got all of those practical things to take care of. No, uh, I have work I'm doing, and, I mean, at the college, and uh, I don't have time for the things I want to do. The practical stuff I can do very well, like Julie. She can give away, she can help others. I do a lot of practical things. Are they practical? The things I do? Uh, I don't know what you're meaning. Are oh. they practical? Okay. Yeah, they're practical. <laughs> uh, because it looks like uh, in your dream, it's challenging you, isn't it, here when it says, uh, you go through this entire thing and uh, you ask the Mason on page two of the top. Oh, yeah. yeah. What does that mean? How come you never shared this? Hmm. Yeah, what does that mean? You're helping people that, and what are they doing? They're not sharing. Oh, vital or? Vital. Oh, oh, oh. You didn't say anything. Hmm. Uh, no, I was. It was like he was not, um, I mean, he had, he knew about the rooms and he knew about uh, the key. Yeah. Yeah, all he had a lot of stuff, but he yeah. wasn't sharing. Yeah. So all of your effort? Hmm. Well, it, it's like the house or, or this pro project is not um, possible. Yeah. 
all the practical concerns you have then tied up with it? Uh, hmm. With things that I don't know about or uh, I'm not told about. Yeah. I don't know where this goes. That's interesting. Yeah. That changes it all. Yeah, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I, now I'm really puzzled. Yeah. But since you have to pay attention to all these practical things, you're leaving out an important thing. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm leaving out something, but I'm not sure what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where that goes, because uh, like a, a, apart from where it goes, just just stay for, yeah. just for a moment. Mason said this is the key to the, yeah, he knew about the rooms, he laughed about that. But what does that do to your interest and your concerns? So all this time you're being practical, you're f trying to figure this out and nothing else. Oh, was it wasted or was it? Uh... Well, he. C I don't. I don't know how to answer that. Um. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. Is it wasted? Yeah. Well, I would say. It would have been nice to know earlier. Yeah, well, because it would have saved you what? I don't think it would have saved me anything. I would have just known about it. Uh, um, and things were... Uh, he had a key, Mason said. You need this key, it had a curve. I don't know. No, Can't see, answer, Pierre. You're working with someone, an important figure, a mason. Oh. Right. And they're not giving me all the information I need uh, to complete just, the work. Yeah, not just I all see. the information, but... Just the reality of the what's reality. there. Yeah, yeah. And that left you in what position? Uh, Trying to figure it out. Trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I was cleaning up. I was in the room cleaning it up. Yeah, and all the while, somebody else had the reality of what was going on mm. more so yeah. than I did. Yeah, I don't know where this goes at all. But it looked like you were very busy. I was busy. Yeah. Did it turn out to be worthwhile then? Well. I saw the potential of the place, but it would require a lot of work. But that, get, that would then get you involved with a lot of work. Yeah, right. a lot of work. Again, what happens to yourself? <laughs> I'm not included. Yeah. <laughs> Something else is, but I'm not. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I, I, it's a very strange state. I don't feel like I... I can get into the projects that I would like to do. Yeah, all we need to know is why. I suspect it's because it's not practical. No, it's more that I don't see myself doing it. Be, that's what we need to know, though. See why? Well, see. I can. Well, that's interesting. I see myself being able to save money, do this, do that, take care of houses, take care of those things, but. <coughs> Um, to to use my mind for another something uh, else for yourself be, for myself mm -hmm. for the for yourself for a thing for yeah. yourself <laughs> yeah I don't know what that would mean that should do.
By the way, uh, who are you imitating in that dream? Oh, my dad. Yeah, is that right? My mother. Oh, that's a whole family. The family. It's a whole family. The clan. The clan blue. Oh, good heaven! And all Culture. you have to, all you have to do is go against the family, the clan, your father and your mother. And the culture. <laughs> yeah, that's all. But your dream is telling you you better take care of yourself. Yeah, I said I gotta take care of myself. Yeah. What are you gonna start doing? Oh. Uh, <laughs> as soon as I get enough money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What bullshit. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> uh, would have to start today. Yeah, okay. You Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Straighten this up a little. Just a tad. Yeah. Pull it out a little. There we go. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Good. Eldar still has one from last night. Yep. Eldar still has one from last Thank night. Thank you. Yeah, but I, I want to. Uh, you wanted to explore a problem? Um, no, I, actually, I think that we did uh, quite a lot last night when that short chat that we had uh, with the experience of trapped. That was that was it, Pierre. I mean, hey, yeah, but you got me. me. Hey, Kevin, what happened after I'm, I? Uh, I am. I do not push myself. After I left. Oh, I went into it. Great talk to you. I, I, it's talk interesting. To you? I know I haven't told him yet. Like, just to add a little bit. Well, after we talked last night and after the meeting, I actually ended up in the state within a good good spot to like watch myself right afterwards mm -hmm. with that trap. And it was just like, it was really good to, to, to come out of the talk with you and then to have another sort of experience to, to look at so freshly and clearly in the moment. And... Uh, yeah, it's like I just I'm using it to to break out of it because it is it's bullshit. I'm not trapped. So just the fact that we were that you brought it back to that statement for a moment because I had actually seen it earlier and then when you refreshed me, it was like for the rest of the night I just kept thinking uh, of reflecting. Way, by the way, did you discover how you got this? Curious game of being trapped. Well, I was where, just sitting here reflecting where, upon that. It's like yeah, where, where I, I don't do necessarily, I can't necessarily pin it to a specific moment at the moment. But there's a malu, uh, there's a malu that that revolves around money, and and money, uh, you know, not being able to like have a car or a place to live, and like, and these things. There's a malu that these things make you unhappy or trapped. I asked whether you got an insight into the origin of the game of being trapped. It, 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 my personal family game or the game itself? Both. But well, yeah, I mean, to me, it's just a, it's a path of logos that, that tries to trap human beings from a divine state into a state where they don't feel destiny or understand unfolding intelligibly. So you ripped the, your mind is ripped away. No. And you and you're made to no. look like you're in a cave. No. So, no. me, I'm trying to find no. a scene. I don't understand the question then. You have offered two, I would prefer the second. I don't think I understand the question then. Where did it come from in your home life? Right, and uh, as I said a moment ago, I don't have a specific scene yet. I was sitting here reflecting on it, like, okay, so who am I imitating? Like, who's the one that's trapped? No, that's not the way to go. See, because that presupposes that those words are meaningful for searching in your past. They aren't. Well, I'm, um, I don't have a scene. Yeah, I noticed that. The way to get to it is what state of mind does it put you in as you consider being trapped? What state of mind is it? It's Can stressful. Can you describe it? Yeah, it's stressful. More. Uh, defeating 
Just, just say it again. Defeating. Defeating. Yeah, you've been defeated. Like you, you don't have control. You're, you, you're trapped. Where does it hit you physically? All over. <clears throat> yeah, pretty pervasive, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right. The same way, like on the other side, when I'm in a state returning. Just like that, it's pervasive, but it's like a pathologos pervasive. It's not a logos pervasive. You were, could you put a few more words on that inner state? Well, you're just doing good. Stressed, stressed, defeating, de de defeating. Yeah, wow. and like, and again, like I, I can see this as the milieu in the family when it comes to. Yeah, let's just go back to that state of mind for a moment, okay? Could say any other words about it? Stressed, defeated, not in control, trapped. Say, if you would keep in mind those words, stressed, defeated, right, not in control, mm -hmm. what image of your past comes up? I don't have a specific one, but I'm telling you, it's the whole milieu. Like, they're, they're, it's just like, it's just there. Like, that's the whole background. I don't mind a bit. Is yeah, I, I just, I, I can't think of a scene per pardon, se off the top of my head. Pardon me, so I, I go much more cautiously than you. <laughs> Is it possible that there are more intense of these scenes in your past than others? Since it's there, it pervades, it pervades everything. But are there not peaks in those that are more so than others? You're talking about for me? Yes, of course. Like, apart from the childhood, like in my adult life experiencing it. No, I want to go back to childhood. Okay. Can you recall anything no. when it was more perfect? I never, I don't, I don't feel trapped in, in, I don't feel like this in childhood. Then it's I don't feel trapped, I don't feel stressed, I don't feel defeated. As a child? Yeah. Nowhere. I mean, I'm sure if I, I mean, I'm like that. This state of mind, no, it's not. I mean, I can see it from my parents. I don't like as a malu. Like it's, it's just, it's a background functioning. Like there's always a stress and a feeling of defeated because if you don't have the money, and they, that's the state of mind that results. So it's like, it's there. Like as a background, I just, I don't have a. a a specific scene I can point to and be like, oh. See, uh, I think a moment ago you had a pretty interesting one. What? You just described it. They're having, they're having a, come on, they're together and you're hearing something about money, are you not? I, I mean, I, I, I always hear it. It's, it's, again, it's no specific scene, but like I could give you a general image or a general vision, which is like, there's not enough money, so you don't have control. So you're stressed and you feel trapped, right? That's the general deal. So I just wondered whether or not you had any particular scene where that any part of that was expressed. So I, I mean, my adult life with my mother, I could come up with a scene. In my childhood, I don't really okay. feel it. Yeah, I, I go, like, yeah. I mean, it's more in my adult life with my as an adult with my mother. Like, more later in life. Yeah. Well, I'll take it. Go yeah. Ahead. It's more later in life. <laughs> um, yeah, like you start thinking about your retire <laughs> retirement and stuff, and you realize that, you know, you don't have anything. <laughs> Except, well, for me, it's like I got a lot, but if I didn't really have, <laughs> well, I'm sure it's a Pavlogos, but I've said it, and I'm probably sure it's Pavlogos, but it's like, you know, if I didn't know that I was going to end up right back here, I'd kill myself a long time ago. So, yeah, okay, so it's like, you were with every moment, it's like, so you were with Every day is like that, yeah. you know? So you were with your mother and she was just, you say you have an up-to-date scene with your mother. Yeah, when was that? 
How long ago? I mean, just every day, any day, the day before she went in the hospital. I could pick any day. Go ahead. How am I gonna live? How am I gonna? How am I gonna feed myself? How am I gonna be not on the street? Is that what she's she's talking now? Go ahead. Yeah. Say some more. So it's like you know, it's difficult. It's stressful. She doesn't have a vision like I do. So it's there's no bigger picture. Say, so where does she live? What? Where does your mother live? Are you serious? Huh? Right now? Yeah. Serious, Peter. Pardon? She's with God right now. Okay. Uh, how, how did she live the last five years of her life? <laughs> Fucking happily, actually, as far as I know. Happily, yeah. yeah. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, um, because it's like... When it comes to me, it's like, it's almost as if, yeah, it's like that's that caring moment. It's like I'm being shown that. It's like I'm being shown the happiness, but what, what, what what's really being cared about is is that and, and the, the stress, right? That's, it comes out like highlighted. So, could you tell me uh, how she expressed that to you, remember? Was. And I asked you, how did she live the last five years? And you said, happily. <laughs> but how did she physically live? Uh, like, you mean money-wise? Oh, that would help. Uh, she had retired, I think. Yeah. And before that, she was working in her field part-time. I had gone to part-time as a professional fundraiser. As a professional, she, she, she worked for the Kiwanis Club. It's like a yeah. boys and girls organization. So, yeah. she 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 lived, worked, and then used the tiny little bit on social security to make ends meet in the end. And now, um, sorry, I'm here stuck sorry, with the financial uh, problem. Pardon me. Uh, all you have to do for me is just ask a, <laughs> answer a simple question, mm -hmm. which is. Uh, um, did she know the very question she asked you? She asked you, how am I going to live? Did she have the answer all along? She's a fundraiser. She retired. Did she retire broke or did she have a pension? She had nothing? Six, seven hundred dollars Social Security each month, I guess. Pardon me? You know, you get like six or seven hundred or a little bit from Social Security when you work your whole life. So that's what she had. She's a fundraiser for other people. Mm hmm. Did a lot of good. I did a lot of good. Can't figure out her own finances. Yeah. She raised a lot of money for well, other I mean, people. She can. It, she did She did very well. I mean, honestly, but it's just. She did very well raising Stop. money for other people. No, well, yeah, I meant she yeah. did very well raising me what do you, with no money. Say, what do you make of the fact that she's broke but raising money for other people and doing very well? Well, you know, actually, she came into that career and she trained herself for it. She never graduated college. She worked up through the ranks to get into high ranking with other people in management to do that high level job. So I was always very proud of her because she had to teach herself from scratch. And so it's not like she went to university and got a professional fundraising degree and with all the letters after your name. It's like she just... So uh, how was she living then? Day to day, if, if I understand your question, I mean... Pardon me. You're saying that the last five years of her life, you know where she lived. Right. My fa my stepdad supported her essentially. Oh, and your stepdad supported her. I mean, again, her. he's broke too. But it's like when you got two poor incomes together, it's a little bit less. It's a little bit less than one poor income. See, see I think the issue that you want to look at is uh, they are claiming poverty, aren't they? Oh yeah. Is it true? Now, please, yes. please listen. Poverty means you're broke. Look, I've I seen poverty in Asia, and it's not poverty here. But when I think about the fact that we're two, I'm two seconds, like, like last night, it looks I'm like, on the street. It looks like you. Pardon me, you have two sets of standards, one in Asia and one here. I think that, you know, here, 
they aren't on the street. No. Right? Uh, how, how are, where were they living, by the way? In an apartment. <laughs> well, did they imagine they paid rent? Right. Where was the apartment? It's uh, it's in it's in California. Where? Uh, up, up, uh, north. Uh, can't, two hours away from here. Five yeah. hours traveling for me. Yeah, oh, yeah. What did you think of the apartment? Did it show that they were broke? Well, I'm still living in it, and yes, we're broke because if I'm not here to help pay the rent, we're on the street. So it's like I can't, I can't even leave right now. Pardon me. I'm just saying with one thing. They seemed to have enough money to pay the rent while they were living, is that right? Yeah, with two incomes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she has this big fear about what she's, what she, you know, how is she going to live? It looks like, uh, can you persuade me that she doesn't know? I would say it's difficult to know when you don't know where you're going to eat or sleep. Pardon me, did that, was that her? Or? Yeah, it, it, honestly, like every month, every month, for as long as I can remember, it's been like, let's make sure we got rent for next and month. And every month, did they uh, find a way to survive? They find a way, yes. They find a way. I guess the answer to that is yes, they knew how to survive after each month. Then what do you think of their... I, I think it's a good case for maybe being functioning ideally, but experiencing stress and anxiety after and before such events. Are you telling me, therefore, they bullshitted you? I'm saying that I... Uh, 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 I don't please. know if it's bullshit, no, yes, but I would do. say that Pardon I... Me. Yes, you do. I don't think it was... Uh, bullshit is like... Uh, bullshit means that they do know how to live, they did manage, they lived in an apartment, they paid their bills, and yet they chronically, every month, at the end of the month, went through this drama of how am I going to live and introduced fear in your heart. I've just got a simple question. Are you being conned? I know the answer is yes, but it's like, it's just not, it's just not, um, like, it's, it's rather important. I, I, I know where you're going, and I appreciate it. It's like, I would say that I'm not being conned, but that they don't see that they are actually functioning. They're dumb. Yeah, I suspect that they're just dumb people. Yeah. She's I think they dumb. just need uh Yeah, she's dumb. She's just a fundraiser and very effective, but she's dumb. She's a dumb broad. I agree. I agree. A couple of stupid people. It's like they... Are they dumb? Or are they conning you? I would say they're conning themselves. Thank you. Therefore, it's a myth. They're... Their drama they're putting on your head is a myth, is that right? Is that what you're telling me? I don't really know how to answer it because yes, they, they did they yes. did make it every month because it's like they always made it found a way. Um, Therefore, what do you think about the drama they're putting on your head? Well, I, I think that, uh, yeah, like you don't need to feel trapped. Uh, uh, there's no need to be trapped. Right. right. And that's, again, what we came back to last night and what I was reflecting upon today. Yeah. And, yeah, it's like I, I, I want to say exactly that to them. Like, hey, do you find it curious that, like, you're actually achieving your goal but going through all this stuff before and after? I mean, that's just philosophy, midwifery 101. Like experiencing stress and anxiety before and after such events, but achieving your goal. But they're doing something to you with that while this drama is being played out, aren't they? It, 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 it affected me, clearly. Sure. Because obviously I'm going through yeah. it now. Yeah, what do you think of that? Well, I think I'd rather have a place to live and, and be here with you than... And, and <laughs> yeah, I think I'd rather have a place to live and be here with you. So I but think. that means you're going to have to give up the uh, sense of being... Look, what are they preparing you for if, the, if that's their mantra <laughs> to you? Well, it's going to stop me from financial freedom. Oh, oh it's rather vicious, don't you think? 
Yeah, it's a very curious. It's very curious. It's, it's because it's like <coughs> I, I've actually been working on this a lot and trying to understand like financial abundance and, and just trying to understand how to yeah transition. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's good. It goes it goes back and yeah, it's it's more more laid out. Thanks. So tell me, what do you think of the uh, teaching they're passing your way and the effect it's having on you? Well, I just think, uh, it's, I mean, what do I think of it? I think it's typical. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know. Because they're trying to persuade you that they're dumb and they don't know what to do with life and they're trapped. And when in reality they're not trapped, they lived a complete life, they worked, both of them together, and survived in this crazy world of ours, only every month they played this drama on your head. Yes, I, I feel like it wasn't, it was their drama, but yeah, I saw it and it made it an impact. Sure, and now you're trying to get out from it, right? Mm -hmm. That's the important part. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, it, it's coming to surface because of the fact that I have to be here paying her part of the rent now. And I have to feel like I have to go back to Cambodia. I don't want to leave. And we have to leave out of that place. Wait, wait a minute, you have to pay half of their rent? Why? Because we'd be on the street. Wait a minute, pardon? We would be on the street. We, we lost, my mom doesn't... <laughs> By the way, do you have any uh, clear evidence of where your parents are financially? Yes or no? Yeah. Concrete. Yes, I, I, I am. I, 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 yes, one hundred percent. That means you know their income tax forms yep. and things like that. I do their like taxes forms. Yeah, absolutely. Huh? I do everything. Mm -hmm. And you know their bank account. Uh, absolutely. And, and I know, know their. I know that if I didn't pay five hundred dollars a month right now for the last three months. My stepdad would not have a place to live, and that it would be even more tragic. Like I, I'm seeing this on a high level with everything with my mom, but obviously my stepdad not so easy. And the last thing I need is for him to lose. Say, I, it looks like you, you're pretty familiar with your mother's financial setup. Have you explored your stepfather's financial? Yeah, I mean it's together. I know both. I know. Did he work his whole life? He is working, and he works his whole life, and he. Oh. Tries. Does he have a uh, retirement? No. Nope. Has no retirement? No. Nope. Zero? Mm -hmm. uh, does he have any family other than you? Uh, What's that mean? It means like he has a father that is not a father. It means that he has a mother that he talks to once in a while in another state. How are they doing? His father is like a walking poster child for the Path of Logos. And financially, how are they doing? Um, poor. I mean, they're poor too. I mean, huh? They're poor. I mean, it's they're not. They're they're. I don't know as well, um, but I mean, they've always been, you know, not rich and not. They seem to be okay for for Pardon standards. Me. To say that someone is okay in this society, mm -hmm. you know what numbers you're talking about, and I don't have to ask you. I don't know his parents' numbers. Pardon me. Do you know if they have a car? His parents? Yeah. I mean, they did when I was growing up. They had a, they an had old a house. One? An old one? They were always better off than he was. They had a house, car, family, no, career, job. No, but thing. they're not willing to help him. Or do you have to do it? Yeah, they. his mom has in the past. She can't now. Why his not? dad is, like again, you know, just sort of off in Papa Logos land. So there is no help. I mean, he, even if his mom could help, it's not like she's going to be able to help extensively. Yeah, see, you and I have to have a simple question. Like, how does someone who's running an apartment, if they're, if they're delinquent in three months, how come he's still there in it? You know, I, I don't know all about No, landlords. I understand, but where would you go? No, no, no. How could he stay in an apartment not paying for three months? 
Oh no, we we pay every month, but again, because my mom passed three months ago, I've come in and made sure that the rent has been paid from the part that my mom is missing. <laughs> like that income. So you're using the inheritance you got from your mother to pay off your stuff. No, I'm I'm working for a company in Taiwan. <clears throat> okay. To to make the difference. Can you? Uh, sublet? Can you rent a room out to a student? We have one it? room. I'm sleeping on the floor. Is this HUD housing or regular? It's regular, and, and there is the possibility, I think, of maybe someday swallowing pride and section 9 it or HUD housing yeah, it or you something gotta get, like that. It takes four or five years, but you got to get your application in. That's one way to go. Uh, uh, secondly, uh, have any possibility of supplemental Social Security? No. And Why? there is a... Why not? I've looked at it all, man. Trust What's me. What's the problem? Well, What's it's, well, first of all, he's not to the retirement age yet, right? So that's, my mom was the one that was on social security. Can you take a second job? He's about to start to try to do that. I mean, yeah. 500 a month, you can, you can make that doing dishes. Yeah, he's, a, he's, 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 not, he's not, not trying to do something like that. He just actually said this weekend, you're going to go see Pierre. I think I'm going to try to get a part-time job on the weekend so that we're not... <laughs> so well, there are new uh, there are new laws through the state where they're talking about dealing with homeless people. So you may want to get into that. I've I've done a lot of research. Well, you haven't done enough. See me, I, I don't care. Like I would have been more than happy to sleep the entire time in this beautiful park over here, so I could be with you guys every morning. But I've done that before, and I know it ain't fun dealing with the friggin' authorities. Well, I'm not when I'm jumping in here, but Kevin, I just have a question for yeah, you. That's fine. Could you could you do that if you didn't have to uh, be paying for your stepdad's stuff? What live in the park? Or, or I mean, besides the fact the police around here will kick you out, but I mean, could you live wherever you want? Would you have more freedom to make those kinds of decisions if you did? Weren't yeah, I mean, it, like, and and yeah, I mean, yeah. But then after that, it's like, yeah. Generally speaking, at this moment, yes. That that's one thing that definitely is difficult because I'm not able to be around you guys. <laughs> Because what? Because I'm not able to be around you guys because I'm so far away. And, like, I, I was able, lucky this weekend, right? I was able to spend the night last night at my good friend Jeff's house. We forgot to fucking take him. <laughs> I abandoned him there and, like, went and took off. He's, like, sitting on the street going, the hell is this guy? It's so funny. I was like, I was laughing and crying all at the same time, like, oh my god, this is so ridiculous, here I am, right after feeling that trap, and like, the simplest thing of like, I'm on the streets in Costa Mesa, and it's like, exactly what I'm trying to avoid, I got nowhere to go, nowhere to sleep, <laughs> I call Jeff, and I'm like, hey Jeff, where are you? He's like, I'm going home. I'm like, oh, okay. He's like, who is this? I'm like, Kevin. He's like, oh, hey. I'm like, uh... He's like, oh, you're spending the night tonight, right? I was like, ah, uh, yeah. He's like, so you driving over or what? I'm like, I was like, I told you it took me five hours to get here on the train. Uh, so it was funny, but it was beautiful because I had in that moment, or just like an immediate chance to reflect upon like the state of mind, like. Yeah, and you didn't have nowhere to go, nowhere to sleep because Robin and I waited until we found out that Jeff was coming back. Just I did like, start to notice that. Thank you, yeah. Nice. I mean, you could have stayed at my place if you needed to. Yeah, I, I sort of figured uh, that you guys were waiting for a second to, to double check on me, and I appreciated that. So, anyways. Um, I mean, there's kind of a disconnect here, because you just got done saying that you, would, if it were up to you, you'd be perfectly happy sleeping in the park. Well, that's like what might have happened last night, and you're saying you're okay with that. Yeah, but no, the authorities, I mean, honestly, I can't afford to get in trouble. Like, I can't even, I don't, like, if a cop asks me for my ID, my first question to him is, like, under what law am I suspicion of breaking? Because I'm constitutionally protected to not give you my ID. And it's like, already, I'm just already going to go, you know, off in the wrong direction with them. So it's like, then you're sleeping in the park, and it's like, you know, I, I, I just don't want to deal with the police. I just don't want to go down that road right now. I've had plenty of interactions with them in my life, and I don't pass it. You got to a point where you saw that it was bullshit. Mm -hmm. The logos from your mother and your stepfather. 
But is that right? I, again, it was yeah. It's a pathologos problem that they're going through. Like, yeah, I guess it's pathologos. I mean, it's not true. Whether it's you not to true. Be so rude as to say bullshit. Sure, I get it. it. It's not, not true. true. At that okay. moment, I could have said, "Hey, isn't it interesting that you guys go through this every month, but yet you still are surviving and making it?" So what do you think yourself? about this drama that you go through before and after? Yeah. And, and now in front go, of me. And now you and go, now you go through. through. Yeah, yeah, in front of me. And it's affecting no, me. No, no, not, now you not in front of it. You're going through right, it Right, no, and, I, and I've picked it up. Yeah. Like, I, and I, it's affected it me, and, and I'm now doing it. Yeah. Okay, my question to you is, what, how would your image of your mother in particular have to change if you were to hold on to that inside? Mm. Well, if I understand your question, she would have to have a higher vision. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Your view of her, you have a certain view that you articulated to us of her and the way she's lived her life. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. I mean, she's, she's got pathologos. No, you don't have to do it again. I just want to know what would change if you were to accept that insight. Nothing, because I've already accepted the fact that she has pathologos. I've already accepted the fact that I've tried for the last 20 years to, to go back into the Nothing family. Nothing would change. Like you think of her. I won't think of her any less or any more, because I already have a divine vision of her, but I also understand the pathologos with her. So, I mean, like... But you still believe it. And you, understood, and you understand the imprinting part oh, of it I, all, right? Yes, I, I, I'm not denying the fact that somehow I've been imprinted, obviously, because I'm living it somehow, right? That's what your point is, right? Well, partially. Yes. But the other part is, you know, I don't hear the part about accepting that your mother, I mean, the role that your mother played in this. In, I, I don't hear that. What I hear is, what a great job she did with her life. Yes, no, no, no. In these moments, again, I have no problem, like, I'm not trying to save her. I've... There's pathologos there, right? It's what, what pathologos other, functioning. What are the pathologos that are functioning in your mother? Well, I think we just laid it out. Or do you mean, uh, did you say other? No, the ones that you're talking well, about. Well, we just laid it out, right? Like, every month you're surviving, but you're going through a drama that that's, that is pretending or, or somehow counteracting or going against that you are not surviving every month. Or you're, you're going through some sort of drama right before and after every month of surviving but but saying that but saying this and this and this with respect to it you mean that, it, that's the drama you mean you see the fraud yeah and in that moment right. I got Is no problem saying like that my mom's going through a pathologos and that I somehow I don't know the word pathologos it's a fraud isn't it she's producing she, uh, a how about false belief do you know false and belief no that implies she's not aware of it Barbara's asking, what do you... You're mean? asking me if I think she's aware of it? No, you... Sure. Well, <clears throat> no. Uh, like, I don't think she's trying to con me. I think that she's conning herself. And in the same way? See, again, this came from later in life, mostly, where I've already been with Pierre since 18, so it's like... And I'm going back into the family to challenge the Papa logo, so it's like, it must have come from, even, yeah, because it's so Malou, I must have just sort of connected it even from adult somehow back to the, the childhood, because it's like... You said you lived in extreme poverty from the time you were young. American poverty. Yeah, well, whatever. Poverty. No, that's, it's that's, like, it's not... That's not poverty. Yeah, that's no, poverty. that's what I mean. It's but not poverty. You say poor. You said poor about that. So in your viewpoint, was already your mother's. Yeah. Is that, that's correct? Yeah. Because, yeah. Because... Yeah, like, I get the idea that we are poor from her. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Hello. And I've always made fun of this. It's like, you're poor in the fucking richest county in the United States, one of the richest counties in the United States of America. And it's like, every kid's getting a car, they, they turn 16 to drive to school, and like, I don't get a car when I turn 16, I think I'm poor. 
It is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Like, so I am getting the impression that we're poor from, yes, from the family. Oh. Plus, if we have representatives having high-level executive skills and as a fundraiser, and yet, what happens with those skills with respect to herself? Well, when she was doing that in life, we were much better off. Like, we had, it, things were okay. Like, during the peak years of her working and, and right at the top of her career, like, it, it was good. But they still continued with the drama. Yeah. Yeah. So well, therefore, Barbara's asking mm -hmm. her, isn't that fraud? Yeah. I think it's fraud if you knowingly do it, right? But if you're not knowingly doing it, I don't know if I can attribute fraud. Well, con? A con, that, that has intention, right? Um, well, it can be, I don't, can it be I don't that, know if it was in, Can like, it be that, that they are doing it? Not whether they are, as you claim, intentionally no. doing it, but that they regularly do it, that is fraud. And whether they do it to you or themselves, they're frauding themselves. I would say they are conning themselves okay. unknowingly. Well, if they're conning themselves, but again, that's are unknowingly. you observing that? Yeah, I'm observing it. And do you conclude and, and that? I'm, yeah, concluding, right, somehow that they're right. Because they're I'm walking more, away now, today, you? thinking that I'm trapped because Tra who's trapped? Are they trapped or are you trapped? Well, if you ask me if I'm trapped, I'm going to say no. Then you can act in such a way as you're no longer under that. Right, and as of, as of last night, when you made that one comment, that's exactly what I was going to do. And it, it just sort of... Um, yeah, and it's sort of, this is just a little bit of a speeding up, but this is exactly how it was going to, like, this is, yeah, it's like. Shame. Um, but I, uh, before I go past this, because it's important what you're on, and it's like. Other things I have called a con, right? Other things I've said bullshit this one for some reason just because it it doesn't feel like it's intentionally put on as a show for me but that it is something that they are going through internally and expressing I, I guess I just have a hard time calling it a fraud but you know I'll go to bed tonight and reflect on more well no I you know, actually have another question yeah. which is you seem really familiar with a lot of the uh, dynamics of midwifery and the way it's expressed and the way it's played. Don't, are you familiar with the fact that the way the state of mind your parents leave you in is the intention? That's what they plan to do? Yeah. So they have to have seen what you went through when they did that act that we yeah. want to call conning themselves. Right. That's one point. Right. Second point is, what about the fact that they may not know why they're doing what they're doing? But they do know what they're doing. That's right. They know what they're doing. Well, yeah, I mean, I agree. Mm -hmm. How much of their lives then, how, like, compared to their normal milieu state, how much of their lives did they spend in this drama? I, I feel like this is the milieu. Yeah, I got it. So this occupied all of their life's energy. Sort of, yeah. I mean, the idea of making money and paying rent and eating food. You know, the tragedy of it all. The fact that they didn't have enough. And yeah. Said, oh yeah, God, yeah, oh yeah, God, yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Lifelong story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's your inheritance. Yeah. So they meant to pass it on to you. They had to have seen you sitting there listening, taking it in. If they didn't want it to pass on, it wouldn't have been done in front of you guys. Well, it's learned but not taught. I understand. Well, it was taught. No, I can't In be, that right? sense, well, what do you mean it can't be? You it, walked well, away it's a wordless it. conclusion, right? I yeah, walked away. Yeah, you made it. And they knew you made it. 
But it, you're but, right technically, but act but functionally <laughs> you're not right. I gotta think about that one. Okay. But it's interesting. Good. But like, I guess I would just say that like, it's obviously very helpful to now put more words on it, right? Um, and to see <laughs> it, especially now, because yeah. To see you walk, that your parents knew you were walking away. Your mother knew you were taking it in. That the state of mind you're in now. Is she the said gift. to me right before she. No problem with uh, making, uh, expecting people to take responsibility for their path of logos. Um, and yeah, I led my mom to a state where I feel very confident right now that she's in the right place. Well, it doesn't even matter. We live in an intelligible and caring universe, so it's irrelevant. It's like, but she said that she she knew that she wanted me to achieve everything that I was supposed to achieve with respect to this. Obviously, she's talking about Pierre and midwifery and the journey. So, there's that, but it's like, again, she's function. I think that she she's just conning herself. I don't know if, she, like, maybe. I have to think. I have to really try to find some younger scene. Um. Well, at 16, I mean, it really, I guess, started to happen when when we moved to California. And that was at. This is 15. So. What happened? It, it just seems like more pronounced that we were poor when we moved to California. So I just, instead what, what of like being. You, you were going to recall something at that age. Yeah, I was trying to recall yes. even before if, if there's a scene. Yeah, but just the one you can recall. What happened? Well, I guess just sort of moving here and it's like what we move it? here and, and it like. You know, you, everything you do, you, you, you don't, you feel, if you, yeah, I felt poor when I was here because everyone's rich and I wasn't, I mean, obviously not everyone is, but it's like, it seems like everyone is in Orange County. No. If you were, Actually, I've noticed a difference. There's a lot more homeless people, yeah. but at any rate, during that time. Yeah. No, you were going to recall it an event. I, I, Again, it's just like Malou. It's like every day or every month, it's like money's a problem. And it's like, when it comes up, it's like... But you said a moment ago that that wasn't true. That there was that great period of time when she was doing very well. Yeah, there's times when it wasn't... Well, but well, at, well, when it wasn't true, they're still telling you the same story. Yeah, it's like a never-ending battle. Like, yep, but, I've noticed this, like, you can have all the money in the world and you would still say the same drama game. And we're interested in you seeing what effect that has on you, you see. Well, I think it's pretty clear. I feel trapped. I've already, that's what I've, I've said. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I feel, uh... And we're exploring where you could have learned that trap. That's what we're doing now. Yeah, well, it's clearly, I mean, I clearly learned it from watching them go through that every 30 days or whatever, right? So, uh, did you say you were, uh, you received money from Taiwan? That you are employed? No, I am not employed and I do not receive money from Taiwan. Oh, you, I thought you said that the 500. Oh, it, it's under the table money, is that correct? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know if that's I I, right. okay. I have a job, doing sort of, yes. I have a job, sort of. Nothing you'd want to put on. It's not safe to talk I, about. I can't say, I, yeah, uh, 
Take it off the tape. Yeah, I just had to edit out. Like, yes, I have a job. I get money in Taiwan. And you're coming, to be coming to you here? Yes. Jeff? <clears throat> Could you um, find a place to do the same thing here? I have really thought about it and really tried to, to see that. Um, what do you mean to see it? To see how it would work, to see yeah. how I could do it, to yeah. see to see yeah. what it would take to make it happen. Yeah. Um, so you're successful. You see, you're successful. Yeah. You found a way to make a buck. Now you want to see if you can apply the same thing here. How has it been going? Have you tried? Well, I mean, that's my job. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I, I, I started working online because I had no transportation, obviously, and I can just sit down at the computer and work. So, oh. how are you it's doing? Like that. How are you doing? To be honest, computers. if they paid me what I was worth, I would keep that job and live here as long as I needed to. It, it doesn't. I don't know if it's going to really. But so far, it looks like you can survive on the computer. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're not trapped. No, no, I feel very blessed for that. Yeah, matter of fact, you're working. Right? And, um, uh, well, the and real question is, like, I mean, am I, am, I, right? am I accepting, like, a lower level of financial abundance because of this game? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Abundance. Right. <laughs> Right. In other words, you're playing poor. Right. Yeah. Time to quit. Yeah. Yeah, and I, that's what I saw last night, actually, yeah. as well, from just on the yeah. simple couple sentences. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, explicating it. Yeah. yeah. Playing poor. That kind of captures it right there. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're right. Playing poor. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, are things getting better for you? Well, I think that's the crisis that I'm about to embark upon. Why is that? What do you see as the crisis? Well, I, I told my, my, my institution in Cambodia that I would come back and work for them again. And I, I love the job and I love the teaching and, and, the, and I, I feel like I could do all of the metaphysical spiritual goals there in terms of I can keep in touch with you guys and I can do mm -hmm. the reading and I can... I got the group, so I don't feel disconnected as much as I used to. So that's really good. So I don't feel like I necessarily need to be sitting next to you. <laughs> right? But, yeah, it's a difficult choice right now. Mm -hmm. uh, because if I stay here, it's like I have to make commitments <laughs> here. So I have to, like, think of, like, a vision here. And I, 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 can, I wouldn't mind, like, I... I Finish it. I, I think I could be here three months, but it's like, I guess I just wish if I was going to stay here, I knew how long I needed to stay here. I definitely plan on being with this group for the rest of my life, Pierre. I definitely don't plan on leaving the group. We will continue, there's no doubt. But it's like, um, I just don't know if I'm ready to be back here yet. <sighs> like, I still want to live in Taiwan, Cambodia, yeah. and yeah. India again. Sure. Sure. As a matter of fact, uh, you're doing very well. There you go. I've been told that. No, no, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damn it! I've been told that, but I can't believe. But I can't believe it. Yeah, right, right. I can't believe it. Therefore, I have to appear poor, poor, poor. Yeah, yeah. Right, no, right. it's very interesting. It, it's common because sometimes people say like, "Oh, you're so lucky. You travel the world for ten years. Like." Go all these places, do all these things. I say, yeah, well, you know, Pathologos follows you wherever you go, and it's like it might seem great, but it's like I just been doing everyday life as well, and yes, like, like I try to put it down somehow instead like, of like mother, yeah, yeah. Right, like playing yeah. poor, right? Yeah, a good old mother. <laughs> well, poor people usually travel the world. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. By the way, I was planning a trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. That's great. That's great. I may be following you. you well, can... I'm glad to see you doing well. Good. Yes. And you know, that, that also has sort of opened it up 
to the higher level goals. I mean, if everything with you guys being in the Parmenides and stuff for a long time and Jeff doing a lot of great work with getting everything, following, a, just continuing making sure we got everything digitized and ready to share across the world. Um, like I, I'm in the, you know, I'm making my website. It's like I've spent many, many hours trying to put it together and like I see the vision and, and the material and content mm -hmm. I want to produce. Hey, and look, that has, hey, this has hey, opened me up look, to look, that. Look here, look here. Aren't you interested in, uh, how is your skill of, of Chinese? They speak uh, Chinese in Taiwan. Are you learning it? They speak, uh, well, they, they speak huh? Taiwanese, but the Mandarin is generally spoken. Okay, Mandarin, yeah. How you doing? In terms of what? Learning I was wondering language. whether you could have a website in Chinese on the kind of stuff that you're familiar with here. Yeah. And what would that do for you? Well, I thought about it, but I had thought about making sure I meet the right people this time when I go abroad. The right, seeking out those spiritual leaders and making sure that I work with them. The hell with working with them. How about starting your own? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, showing them what I, what I do, showing them midwifery, at least playing a game, going somewhere in, instead of like, at least trying to get around people who want to explore, yeah. instead of, you know, yeah. just maybe hanging out with the, the backpackers or whatever. Like yeah. That. Yeah. I like the idea of the Chinese thing, and I like the idea of like trying to. Transmitted into a different language, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Ever get in Chinese philosophy? That would be so cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Confucius. Mm, oh yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Guangzhou. Guangzhou. Uh, I I can't remember uh, that. Yeah. Okay. S sounds familiar. Um, I did a lot of Chinese philosophy, Confucius and the Annals of Dialect and. Yeah, you mean the Annals? I just I just <laughs> uh, the. Um, do you find this, any similarity between what you're doing and Chinese philosophy? Well, yeah, I mean, uh, dude, I just wrote a blog post the other day about the logos signifying, remember I told you last night about the Proclus thought discourse logos and logos going back and like, that's the rectification of naming, right? And, and from, from Confucian uh, thought, the rectification of names. So why don't you do it? Would translate that into Chinese? Yeah. I hadn't thought about it, but it's a good idea. And, and, Cam and Khmer, Cambodian as well. Of course. Right? Of um, course. Finding the right people who can understand it and yeah. help me translate it and yeah. then help share. Yeah. And, yeah you might even be successful at it. <laughs> do you ever go up to the Cambodian? <laughs> I know you said that. I'm do you ever go yeah. to Long Beach to the Cambodian community and work with them? No, but I haven't lived here, so it's. There's a big community. Yeah, yeah no, I know, because that's where they all came when they got English. murdered and kicked out of their own country. Yeah. Talk with Sam. He's yeah, I know. We've, we've talked about that a little What's bit. What's your point, Julia? I think, I think you're, you're you're going somewhere with that, aren't you? Just what I said. That's oh, it. That's okay. that, that, that there's a com there's a Cambodian. No, no, I yeah. know that. Yeah, we yeah. had a friend who made good money right. as a director of that program when they were in their infancy. A oh. Cambodian family or something. Yeah, Cambodian. Family. And so I I thought Julia was suggesting that if you went and made contact with those people, two things might happen. You might find the people who are more spiritually or reflectively in influenced, but you might find people with money. So yeah. that's the second part. Of it. Yeah, and the you might patronage to... thing. Yeah, like I just have to start thinking about finding a patron. I don't know about that. I mean, maybe you no, should try I, to find. I was, I was oh, referencing I, your joke Did about finding people with money. <laughs> no, nope. I think you're um, doing well. Finding well people I with think money. I think you're doing Talk to me well. about designing a website sometime soon. If you, if you, I, are you I was, it? I was joking. Are you into web design? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to talk to you. About okay, it. no problem. Right. But I was making a joke with respect to pe finding the people with money. It's like, you know, there is this lineage of like the, the I think of Ficino and like uh, all of these people. Sure, who, Thomas Taylor. Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, like. You tell Thomas Taylor to say, "Hey, now fuck the people with money. Like you can still do the work." That's right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I would well, love to see a conversation. The question between is, what is the ideal? What is the ideal that you want to live? And um, 
how may it be achieved, that might not be the only way. I don't think patrons are so thick on the ground, friend. Right. No. And I think thick on the ground. You're saying, I'd love to have one myself. Yeah. 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 What you're saying. saying. Oh, there's Patron on the shelf at Trader Joe's. <laughs> you have I some give good into that. directions yourself. Uh, so, yes. Well, so, have you ever thought of getting two, the uh, two-volume work on Chinese so philosophy? For years, on Not recently. Ooh. You ought to. Yeah. Oh, nice. I can understand. I will. You know the author? I know what you're talking about. I can't remember the author. Yeah. But Fung I know what you're talking about. Fung Yu Lang's two-volume yeah, work. Yeah, Fung Yu Lang. Yeah, two-volume work. I know the Because if you're not familiar with what their history, and especially that work, mm -hmm. you have a handicap in talking mm -hmm. with them. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Fun. Fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Good ideas on your own. Sit over here. Do you want it? Who's up next? No, we get to do one more. Whoa. It's okay. The original configuration. Very small, very short. I don't know if you can read my writing. Oh. That's all I have. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll read this since I don't have copies. It's just a short dream. I had it this morning. I woke up, I say, oh, my underwater dream. I went underwater and I can still push myself out of the water, but I push myself down under the water. And I'm thinking the whole time someone will pull me up as soon as they see me. Someone will reach in and pull me up, but they don't. And then I had that feeling of thinking that I am going to go up, but I don't. And I wake up, and I don't know what happens. It's okay, though. Mm. How, how short is it? I, I missed it. Could you read it again? <laughs> That's how short it was. <laughs> Could you read it again, please? I went underwater, and I can still push myself out of the water, but I push myself down under the water. Mm. And I'm thinking the whole time, someone will pull me up as soon as they see me. Someone will reach in and pull me up, but they don't. And then I had that feeling of thinking that I am going to go up, but I don't. And I wake up. I don't know what happens. It's okay, though. Yeah. Yeah. What do I make of it? Yeah. <clears throat> well, there's a real-life event for this when I was very young that I've talked about before, where I was underwater with a life preserver with my hand on the side of the pool, and I'm underwater, and I don't come up. And I decide, and I'm, uh, and somebody does eventually, I think, see this is the thing, I can't remember whether I pull myself up out of the water or somebody else does, but nobody made any fuss about it at all. I think my mother just, I don't even know if she really noticed and somebody kind of like pushed me back in, you know, just because they had that view that they didn't mm -hmm. want me to be afraid of the water. Uh, yeah, that's a good way of doing it. So, <laughs> nope, uh, not the right way. So, what do you make of the dream? Mm. That you're having, see? Well, it's it's the coming, fact that I'm having it's coming it now. Back to you the now. fact that I'm having that now. Um, see, this one was a little different because the consciousness of being under the water was so strong um, and I didn't have that consciousness in the in the scene as a child um, it's just kind of like a real quick quick passing memory as a child of being under the water with my hand on the side and the, the significance of that isn't even present to me as a child. That comes much. That comes later. I think when my mom is making fun of it or saying something about how 
how could a kid with a life preserver and hanging onto the side drown in a pool, you know, like that. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, what do you make of the dream? The dream is... Uh, <laughs> Stay okay. with the dream. Okay, in the dream. All right. Well, I don't know. I woke up when I put this shirt on. Yeah, what the do you make? Uh, here, what do you, we are. Oh, what do you make We are on our own. That's kind of how uh, I feel. What do you about make of the dream? I'm on my own. I feel like that. That's what it's telling me once Pardon again. Me. Is that hey. I'm on my own. Nobody is going to pull me up. Hey. If yeah. I want to come up, I have to come up. Yeah. You're not in the dream. Not that you can say that, but that's not in the dream. Hmm. I don't know. What do I think of the fact that I can breathe underwater practically? No. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I honestly, I, I have no idea now. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Could you read just the uh, first? Two lines. I went underwater, and I can still push myself out of the water. Enough. What does that mean? Well, that's interesting because in the dream, I think I can push myself out of the water, but I don't. And it's 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 like an automobile accident I had one time where I knew that I had to put my foot on the brake or. And somehow I was paralyzed, like I just couldn't move my foot in that direction. And so sure enough, I slammed into something. And um, that's kind of what the way this was. It's like I, I was aware that, I'm, I'm thinking that I should be able to push myself up out of the water, but I don't. I mean, this is not should. Can. I can, yeah. I'm thinking that I can push myself out of the water, but the fact that I don't <coughs> kind of worries me. In the dream, I'm a little bit concerned about that, that, I, that I'm not pushing myself out. It has an answer. It has an answer. Mm -hmm. I think someone else will do it. Oh. What are you waiting for? Someone else to do it. That you can... That I can do myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Of course, of course. Right Wait a minute now. Of course. We're interested in that state of mind that I know I finish it. Oh, I know I can pull myself but up. But you're out waiting of the water, for. But I'm waiting for someone else to do it. Why? What the fuck? That is just so totally wrong. <laughs> Therefore, we want to know what is it like when you're waiting for someone to help you when you know you don't need them. In the dream. In the dream. Only yeah. in the dream. I'm not upset or, or nervous or uptight about it or anything. It's just kind of a waiting. Yeah. <laughs> What's that like? Um, See, it's an interesting state of it mind. It is because it's very singular. It, it's very pointed. It's like very. It's pointed. Come on. Very close in. You know, it's Closed like just in. me. Like I don't have any other awareness other than myself under the water and this belief that somebody's going to pull me out. While at the same well, time, at the same you, time, I know I can do it myself. That's right. But I'm not. No, see, that's the that's state the of mind. That's paralyzed. That's I'm paralyzed. Yeah. See, they're together. Yeah. Don't separate oh, them. Okay. So you have the first part very well stated. Mm. Right. It's closed. It's just me. Uh, there's nothing else. Right. Yeah, it's not scary. Not scary, right? There's an awareness, right? That's a very high state, isn't it? It is. It right. is, and it's. It, right. but it seems so strange to be so paralyzed, like. Yeah, but but it's a high state, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. It's good. Yeah. Not bad. You're going to give up that high state for.
it's a high state. It's a psychic oh, state. Oh, for heaven's sakes, you know, that's interesting. Because Why? It, because it feels like I expect someone to rip me out of it. Rather than, it's like I expect that. I expect somebody to come along and interrupt the state. Oh. As if, as if, uh, as if I need their help. But you and, know. And, and as a matter of fact, I'm fine. Yeah. But, there. And if but I choose to come up, I can. But then you'd give but up I that don't. great state. I'd give it up. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Would you? Well, I'll give it another consideration. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Maybe it ain't so bad under there. Mm. Ah. Uh, you mentioned your mother. Right. right. And that very interesting right. scene you just described right. in a, a flash. Were you because waiting for her to? No. I had no... See, at the, as the chi in the child scene, I just remember it feeling really good to be underwater. It felt great to be underwater. I didn't hear anything, for one thing. It was right. just marvelous. It was so quiet. Yeah. Get away from them. It was so quiet. Away from them. Oh, and he, all the bullshit. I mean, yeah. she's sitting over there drinking cocktails and she's supposed to be watching us and I'm sure she's not. <laughs> wow. So, yep. so in a sense, I was ripped out of that state and thrown back in the water. Yeah, but see, and I never understood if, it as wait a minute, let's see. as if what you, it was. I mean, see, if if someone helps you, you're going to have to give up that state. Oh no! And that state is very high. Um, compared to other states, where would you put this one? Now I'm confused, Pierre, because the state of mind is very solid. Yeah, solid. yeah, solid, yeah. right. Right. Where are you going to get it if you don't get it there? Anytime I choose. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I can. Yeah, I'm in that state a lot these days, but... See, we'll always go where a high is, won't we? Interesting. Until we stop and see what we're paying for it. Huh? What am I paying for it? What do you mean? Well, if you're waiting for someone to help. If you're waiting for oh something gosh. you need or don't need. I don't need it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great dream, isn't it? It's interesting. Well, because I have some very personally meaningful goals that I'm not working on. I mean, yeah. I'm working on not working on them. Yeah. <laughs> That's similar. That's so I could save you. <laughs> yeah. Very proud. You want to see what's going to happen when you go for broke? When I use use what I have? Yeah. Just those goals you put on on the shelf. What happens if you go for broke? Throw it all on that. It's beautiful, really. It would be very beautiful. We'll take a look, won't we? Yes, we will. I'm, I, I still have a... <laughs> and I wanted to do it for your birthday. <laughs> no, <laughs> yourself. I, the goal. All right, we'll see. Last night was quite, quite... That was very interesting for me to read again like that. Yes, and then yeah, you passed like it that. over. Uh, because... Uh, at a key point. At a key point. And it's interesting too because I got lost. I got. But you were you looking for help? <laughs> Possibly. In the dream, that's the moment. Possibly. Good. Yeah, yeah. Because I remember sitting there last night thinking that somebody was going to stop me. Mm hmm. That this was a, just amazing that I was being allowed to read for so long for so long and to be feel so in it, you know, like that and, it was and genuine seeing. and that I was seeing what I was reading as I was reading it and it was so, it was just so beautiful and I kept waiting for somebody to interrupt me and, a, you know, a couple of times people said to speak up, which was fine and I needed to do that and I, I, I realized what I was doing wrong, speaking into the iPad and, 
but even that, I mean, it didn't stop me, you know, but I, I was expecting somebody to, to but, rip it away, to stop me, to and, break it up, to somehow... And, uh, and how did you bring it about? You did give it up. I did, did. Well, you know, I wanted to give Kevin a chance to read. He wanted to read. No, no, no. You were, at that moment, you were in an interesting state. You were going over a sentence several right, times. Right. Right. I started. I felt you starting to go through something next to me. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When I saw myself seeing that well, it was. Yeah. It was uh, under the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure doubling. Thank you. It's amazing. Eldar's up. Sorry, okay. it took your time. Oh, it's your turn. Whoops. I got it. That's that's the one. Oh. Here, Julie, you want to have your seat? Oh, that's great. Thanks, Julie. Do you want to share? You got an extra, or do you yeah. want me to share? Here, you yeah, do you want? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Uh, can you share with Julie? Oh, yeah. Julie? I read it. I read it. Okay. You got one more copy for the camera just for Here's one. 10 seconds. I can run it past. Oh, nice. Is it, That's a good uh, idea. Yeah. It's just one page, right? You want me to yeah. hold it? Are these uh, vague things in there? If you um, they're, they're like um, <laughs> when I was listening. When I was listening to the audio, it was. It just seemed like I was kind of half awake, maybe reflecting on the day before. I'm, I don't think they're part of the dream. Okay, good. I'm not sure. No, that's good. Ironic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here just asked, it has two parts. Sorry, it's the start of the camera. Sorry. Yeah. What do you see between the two? It's a contrast. What do you see? Well, the first one is kind of, um, I'm free and I'm exploring and it's interesting. Then the second one is like, um, I feel kind of like um, like I'm doing something wrong and it's when I see the horse I feel like I'm getting busted for whatever I'm doing uh, the, the first one is more more open It's a contrast between two states of mind, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. What's the first one? The state of mind? Yeah. It's just like playful, light-hearted, um, Exploration. <laughs> it's not what you're saying is not true. Okay. Take another look. What is what kind of a state are you in? And what condition is it that puts you into that state? Hmm.
Well, I'm in a place that I don't know, and it's it's all very new and. For some reason, it's important that it's not mine. That's right. What is that? What does that do? Mm. That's the condition for being in that state of mind. What's that like in the dream? You know the things you're using. Finish it. I'm not mine. And yet, go ahead. And yet I'm. And yet I'm using them, and it's. It's just like. Yeah, what's that like? It's, it's kind of. It's kind of. Mixed. Mixed. It's like, uh, in a sense, it's it's good, and I feel a sense of freedom. Uh, doing it, yeah. But then there's another aspect which is like um, guilt. Because. Because. I don't know if I should be uh, using it. I don't. Um, it's like. Um, uh, I don't know if the the owner of the things would mind. Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, maybe I do know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. Right. Now state it. Um, okay. So I'm pretty sure that the the owner of those things would mind. That's right. That I'm using those things. Right. Well, I don't know what that means. What? Could you put it in some other language? I knew the author knew that. What state of mind do you presume that owner is in? Is he happy that you're doing it? No. Oh, is he sad? He would be. Uh, he would be upset. Ah, ah. I'm kind of like a. I'm kind of like a burglar. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> making a window to get That's, in. I was, yeah. Right? <laughs> like, I'm not really stealing anything, but I'm just making myself at home at someone's place. Yeah. yeah. But that got you in a nice state. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you get into a good state. Right? Freedom. That's pretty weird. And good, right? And you're getting away with something. Getting away with it. That's yeah. A, that's a yeah, because that's the next thing, right? That's that happens again, and again, right? <laughs> there's a that there's a kind of high in getting away with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're too high state. That's a high state. What are you going to do? If you get rid of that high. Yeah. Don't hold hold on to it. Keep doing it. Don't think of anybody trying to persuade you to get out of it. It's it's a it's a kind of a it's a petty kind of high. Yeah, but it's a high state. Freedom feels good. But it's not true freedom. That's the problem. It's like ah. Uh, oh. There's a. Ah, oh, here I was going to try to borrow it from you. Go ahead. <laughs> there's like a. It's like there's a kind of a thorn in my side all along the way, or like um, you know. A weight on my shoulder. I have to like look behind me um, while I'm in that state. Yeah. So it's not it's not free. Yeah. It's like an illusion. Of yeah. By the way, who are you imitating? My dad. Yeah. That didn't take long to nope. realize. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only way he could get in that state. You saw that. Yeah. Say the second part of the dream. That's rather. Uh, he, what did you do with that? Look at the second part. He told me this uh, story. Yeah, go ahead. He told me this story one time about how he got in a really high state of mind. Good. Uh, he was working for a bakery, and he had the um, 
he, he was delivering the bread and um, he said it was so fun when he stopped on the side of the road one day and he was doing donuts with the with the bu with the van that's used for delivering the uh, the bread he was doing donuts and like burnouts with the car and he was saying how great that was what do you think now what do you think of that what is he telling you he's he's saying that that's a um, that that's a way to get high yeah 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 you should try it sometime yeah kind of. yeah, yeah yeah this is the way to get it take somebody else's car right, right. yeah right in, in somebody else's house. Yeah. So, let me enjoy the second part. Because I only have one question for you after you tell me what you think of it. Well, it's, a, it's the same thing. I mean, what? But without the high the same uh, state uh, of uh, now I actually am a burglar <laughs> and I'm going into the house and um, say what was it like when the horse was locked into me it was really scary it why was, it was um, I'm going to be caught um, it's like, oh, oh shit. Um, there's a danger coming and it's really close. And I can't do anything about it. And, um, a real sense of, like, I'm going to get busted for what I did. Yes, that's, that's a good statement about you. How about the horse? What state of mind is the horse in? Look at the second sentence, second line. It's a beautiful, come on. It's a beautiful white horse. Oh, how does he look? Magnificent. More. Really like elegant and More. noble and, um, what's the word, gallant? Um, and powerful and uh, really beautiful. And yeah. It's like there's, the perfect horse. Yeah. Yeah. There's mm. no fear. There's no fear in the horse. Oh, That's right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. No the fear. fear. The horse is just. Finish it. Mighty. More. What state of mind is the horse in? It's. It's um oh it's very um it's like the opposite of the of the bad state that I was in. Whereas my mine was kind of like petty. The horse is like um very um noble and um, courageous. Um It's an interesting state of mind, isn't brave. it? It's a very interesting state of mind you're seeing the horse in. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's really beautiful. More than that. It's a unicorn. Right, <laughs> it's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. What does that mean? That you're encountering a unicorn with all of those qualities, but you're worried about being caught. Right. <laughs> That's so weird. I mean, it's like the the perfection of horse. <laughs> There's more than all that. What is the horse doing? It, uh, it's coming towards me. Yeah, not just coming towards you. It's like galloping. Yeah, following you. Beautifully. All the way up the stairs. But I'm worried about being caught. Being caught. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> rather than like. Yeah, rather than hey. Taking it in. Yeah. <laughs> That's that getting caught is holding you back. That's true. 
now now that I uh, look back on it, there's no evidence in the dream that yeah. the horse is coming to bust me. That's right. There's uh, not much ever. It's just that because I was feeling so guilty, yeah. I that's what I assumed yeah. straight away. So I, mm. I didn't I wasn't able to But in reality a unicorn is your sure. unicorn. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, a unicorn um, wants to say hi maybe? No 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 not maybe. <laughs> Well, it's it's locked on. Yeah. Then it follows you. Yeah. Come on, are you going upstairs? <laughs> yeah, Maybe. it's it's running up the stairs. Yeah. I was like, it's definitely not gonna uh, be able to come up here, and it's then right. it just because right? it's a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> it can do everything. Yeah. It's a spiritual dream, anagogic dream you got here. Yeah. What's holding you back? Your father's teaching. Mm. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Minor. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. It's, it's such a weird dream. Like I. No, I don't find it weird. Do you? I mean. Uh, you do. You no, no, now I don't. But good. At good. first, when I looked at it, it didn't make much sense. It was, it's like different from every other dream that I've had. And um, I didn't know what the hell was going on in it. Mm. See, yeah, you caught it in one sentence. I saw a unicorn. You identified it, didn't you, in the dream? I did. Yeah. It was interesting on my recording, on the audio, um, I was kind of, I was saying uh, this sentence, but the thing is, the horse was locked onto me. It actually kept running towards me, and at one point, and then in the recording, I just kind of quickly said it, like, "I saw a unicorn," and then I kept talking. <laughs> 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 now that makes sense, because it's like, it was like a. I didn't know it was a unicorn at first, but at one point, it just kind of like, maybe there was like a flash. Of the the horn caught the light or something yeah. and there was just like yeah. oh it's a unicorn I like the last sentence I'm thinking holy shit this horse is coming up the so stairs no, now hey holy holy shit <laughs> <laughs> that's a holy dream that's a unicorn dream right rare what do you think of that it's really it's only your father's teaching that's holding you back. That's not just a minor thing. That bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tom. My pleasure. Fabulous, fabulous. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you, Pierre. Pleasure, Thank pleasure, you. pleasure, guys. Thank you. Fun. 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 Thank you, Pierre. Fun. Fun, indeed. Right? Fun. Pleasant dream. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. David, watch your back. Yeah. Hey, hey. We can all... Hey, hey. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah.